But look at the carry. Oh, holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. What's going on guys? This is Earned Dog Golf. Quite honestly, I've been struggling with my golf game. I just feel like I have no idea where the ball is going right now. I have no control of my club face. I have no control of my club path. And I'm just really tired of playing bad rounds of golf. After a bad round on Sunday, I decided to kind of try something different. I've always been drawn to numbers. I'm an engineer and I've never taken a lesson with a track man before. So I actually found an instructor in the Dallas area that uses one for a reasonable price. And I reached out to him. His name is Zach. This, is, this, is, this was the outcome of our lesson, so kind of looks like a, a prescription from the doctor. So from here on out, I'm gonna call Zach the doc. And quite honestly, this has been my favorite lesson that I've ever, ever taken in my life. We went through so much. It's a huge swing change. It, it really is. This is gonna take weeks, if not months, to implement and to feel comfortable with. But I absolutely wholeheartedly believe that this is the right step for my golf game to get better. If you struggle with an out to in club path like me, this video is gonna be just so helpful. I don't wanna hold you guys for any longer, so let's just hop right into it. Yeah, like, I don't think I've ever been able to hit like a push draw. Okay. I don't think I've ever hit one in my life. That's what I teach. So I'm just gonna go over everything and then we're gonna talk about the priorities. Sweet. So first thing, just as you set up, you have a good bend from the hips, slight flex in the knees, back of the hands are right over the edge of the toes. So as you come back, the takeaway is pretty good. You're nice and connected. Now as you get up to the top, there's just no turn here. So your left shoulder is all the way over your left knee. Uh -huh. I wanna feel like your left shoulder gets more over your right knee. See how your shoulder here is right over here? <laughs> That's oh. what you want to feel. Okay. Does that feel different? Oh yeah. And how do I get there? It's a shift. So see, if I'm here, I'm 50-50, and my pelvis and my belt buckle's in the middle right here. Uh -huh. So I want to push and turn. So I'm turning inside of my feet, basically. Gotcha. So right from here, there, now feel arms up here. And I've never, this, this right here, like yeah. being like far away from my body feels uh -huh. so weird to me. I'm a huge believer in that. Okay. So Tiger does that better than anyone else. So if you think of it this way, so if I take my setup here and I put my right elbow at 90 degrees, see how I turn and my shoulders here, and then I bring this up, that's my top position. Gotcha. So basically what's happening right now is your left arm's pinned uh -huh. and your left shoulder's over your left knee. So see how I get back here and then it's nice and wide. Let me see your club real quick. So what you're doing is as you come up to the top, your left shoulder's here and then you're pinned and then your elbow's behind you. So now, as I get up to the top, see how I'm here? Yeah. So from here, boom, see how everything's here? And then I'm there, and then come back down. Sick. There we go. Oh, I'm doing this. Yes, exactly. And I wanna be here. Correct. But now, you don't want this to be pinned against your chest. Okay. There we go. So you wanna be extended, but not locked. What do you mean by that? So I see a lot of people, they come up to the top, and they try and lock this left elbow. That would be this. Yes. So see how I'm extended, but I'm soft. I'm not stiff. 10-4. So the more stiff I am as I come down, I'm gonna miss more to the right. Softer I am, I can square that club face easier. 10-4. All right, you ready for the big change? I thought that was a big change. <laughs> <laughs> so once you're here, that's better. Now you like to come this way. Mm -hmm. So see how as the shoulder comes forward, the hands come out, mm -hmm. and then now see how the handle's pointed left? The club head follows the handle. Yep. See that? So now, as you come down, see how the handle now points to the right? Mm -hmm. Your back's to the target. Mm -hmm. And then now as you come through, see how it goes out there? Yep. That's the push draw. Sorry. So it's gonna feel awkward at first. Yeah. So hold on to it real quick. I'm just gonna exaggerate this path. You'll feel how it's out there. Mm -hmm. that, I call that first base one o'clock. So as you come back, down behind lower, rotate, extend to first base one o'clock. 10 four. Yep, so if we start here, turn down here, out there. Extend. Yep. Perfect. Am I releasing? Do I have to feel like I'm releasing a the club? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Otherwise you'll just hit a big block. 10-4. Yep. So if the path is five and the face is five, it's just a straight push. You want the face to be half the path. If the path is five, face two and a half. There you go. Yes, very nice. There we go. Good path. So now you're just rotating the arms a little bit too much and releasing it. So okay. just see how the face goes to negative five. So that, one to be, that one should have been like a 2.5? Yeah, exactly. 
So to me, the most important position in golf is the shaft in line with the forearm, halfway down in the downswing. Gotcha. So wherever that club is right there, that's gonna basically determine your path. And then from there, it's just how much you rotate your arms and your hands determines your face. Should I try to feel like I'm holding it off a little bit more instead of releasing it? I don't like a hold off. I like a okay. controlled release. Controlled release, okay. Yeah. Let me see it real quick. So if you think of it, so we'll assume this position is correct right here. Okay. So everything from here, if I come down and I do no rotation in my arms and hands, see how open that is? Yeah. So basically, what's happening right there is my right arm is underneath my left arm. And I'm hitting with the left side of my left arm. So now as I come down, if my right arm rolls over my left arm, see how much that closes the face? Yeah. So I get here, and then I hit it way left. So now, as you come into it, so you get right to here, and then now, when I set up, see how my right arm and my left arm are even? Mm -hmm. As I come back down, see how my arms are back to even? Mm -hmm. So I'm rotating, but I'm not out of control. Okay. So it's just right from here, and then come through. There we go. Now from, see how it's square by your right foot? Mm -hmm. From right foot to left foot, don't move it. So it's square early, stabilize. So for being nitpicky, personally, I like to see the path a little more out. So what's gonna happen is if you just go to zero or you go to positive one, you're gonna go back negative. Okay. So if you go, you know, four or five positive, then, you know, when you're nervous under pressure, you'll go back to two or three. So this right here is the center of mass on the club. So if you come down and that center of mass gets in front of your hand, you're throwing your speed here, and then there's nothing down here. So if I come down and I get that center of mass back here and I get my hips to lead, all the speed's out here. There you go. Beautiful, that's it. That was awesome. See how much higher that went? That felt really good. Now just get the path a little bit a more. A little out. bit more, yeah. Before I was like trying to hit to, to first base. Yep. And like now I'm like not thinking about first base and I okay. feel like I'm- Can you come back down. to neutral? Yeah. Did you do it? There we go, nice job. So see how that gets more of that push draw look? Yeah. So now, because the face wasn't quite half, it didn't come back, but it's just still a different shot. Yeah. The other hands are close to the right pocket, yep. and then away from the left pocket. Yeah, yeah. But if you think, if I come down and my hands are away from my right pocket and close to my left pocket, where, yeah, straight over the yeah. top. Yeah. See so how my hands are close to my right pocket? and then away from my left pocket. Cool. So Byron Nelson said the best ball strikers he saw, there was like they were wearing a pattern on their right pocket because <laughs> everything was in here. There you go. Really good. That's a completely different rehearsal. So see how it's, I'm squaring it, uh -huh. and then I release it. So you just don't want to keep the handle too far in front of the club head. The club head's going to have to pass the handle eventually. Okay. So you're here. See how that catches up? Mm -hmm. And then out there, you don't want to do that. 10-4. There we go. And think too, so the more you release it this way, that's a higher release. That's a de-lofted release. There you go, good. Awesome job, Ernie. There we go. So now you can see carry jumps up to 147. Loft's good, face is half the path, and you didn't even swing hard. And what number are you used to getting carry here? 160. Okay. Oh. Now feel a little more into out and feel a little more rotation of the arm. To okay. Square it up. Okay. Swing your arms, but feel like you're swinging that club to me more. Over here. There we go. Oh. Don't be afraid of that. Okay. It's really easy to bring that back in. Okay. The hardest thing is to get people to go out and do that. Okay. There we go. That was different. Nice job. Awesome. Now just square the face yeah, up. That was straight open. Yeah. yeah. But see how much higher that launches? Yeah. Really, oh, yeah. really good. That's a great swing. That's a different practice swing. How about Still that? open, damn it. But look at the carry. Oh, holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. Get out. And that's not even squaring it up. So as you're coming into the ball, so from back here, 
So you're, see how the handle's out there? Mm -hmm. We're swinging on a diagonal line, inside out, but inside of that diagonal line, we're twisting the shaft. So think of it this way, hold on, left hand only. So when you set up, see how the club is flat and straight? Mm -hmm. See how your left arm is pointing to the target, logo on your glove is pointing to the target. If I come down and I swing inside out, but I don't rotate my forearm, see how the face is wide open? And I'm still swinging inside out, but now watch. So from here, see how I rotate it back to my left side and extend out. So you can either think your arm or your thumb. So if see, I come down, I see, yeah. if my thumb is behind, face is open. Thumbs at the ball, square. Thumbs in front, it's closed. So it's just from here, right to there. Perfect. Great practice swing. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my phone here. And I wanna record you doing this so you can see what it looks like. Do like three of those. Yes, that is so different. That sounded good. Awesome job. So we got path Holy. at four, three, and then 180 carry. Let's go, dude. Nice job. Let's go.